Hello and welcome to this lesson on rheostats and potentiometers, which is part of the electricity topic in AQAA level physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at understanding the difference between rheostats and potentiometers. So if we've been successful and learned in today's lesson, we've been able to understand the difference between potentiometers and rheostats, detail when potentiometers and rheostats should be used in electrical circuits, and then finally detail the advantages and disadvantages of potentiometers and rheostats. So in this this lesson we're going to look at the following part of the AQAA level physics specification 3.5.1.2 current voltage characteristics now in investigations to experimentally produce IV graphs you've got to use a variable resistor to produce a range of values for current and potential difference so the variable resistor can be used to alter the values of the current and potential difference in your electrical circuit now there are two main types of variable resistor you've got your rheostat and you've got your potentiometer now rheostats are variable resistors with two electrical connections and potentiometers are variable resistors with three Three electrical connections. Now we tend to place rheostats in series with the load in an electrical circuit, whilst for potentiometers we connect them in parallel with the load in the circuit. Now just to clarify, the term load in an electrical circuit means the wanted output of that electrical circuit. So what you've got to think about is in what situations is a rheostat used and in what situations is a potentiometer used when you require a variable resistor. So a rheostat is used to vary the current in the circuit to a minimum whilst a potentiometer is used to vary the potential difference to zero in an electrical circuit. So it's important to note that the potentiometer can allow the potential difference and the current in a circuit to be reduced to zero whilst the rheostat can only reduce the current and the potential difference to a minimum in your electrical circuit. Now the reason for why this is is that that the rheostat is placed in series in an electrical circuit whilst the potentiometer is placed in parallel in your electrical circuit. So when placed in series, a current, a component, sorry, has to always take a proportion of the potential difference output of that loop in the electrical circuit unless it had zero resistance, which in the real world is never going to be the case. Now, because the rheostat is placed in series in your circuit, that will cause a division in the potential difference of that circuit. It will divide the potential. So what this means is that the rheostat will always take a part of the potential difference so the circuit can only ever be varied to a minimum and not to zero. Now, the advantage of using a potentiometer in an electrical circuit is that the current across the component and the potential difference across the component can be reduced to zero because it's in parallel with the output. So therefore, this gives a smaller error in any measurements taken. That is not possible with the rheostat. However, with the rheostat, it is easier to place in an electrical circuit compared to a potentiometer. So the advantage of the rheostat is you're less likely to make a mistake when you're constructing your electrical circuit. So to summarise what we've looked at in today's lesson, we've looked at the idea of rheostats and potentiometers, the uses of rheostats and potentiometers, their placements in electrical circuits and the properties that each one have. So if we've been successful and we've learned in today's lesson, we should be able to understand the difference between potentiometers and rheostats as variable resistors in electrical circuits. We should be able to detail where potentiometers and rheostats are used in electrical circuits and finally detail the advantages and disadvantages of potentiometers and rheostats. So thank you very much for watching this lesson on rheostats and potentiometers, which is part of the electricity topic in AQA A-level physics. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.